Hello, this is Pete. Welcome to the Empower Cast iWork series. This is episode 11. We're looking at image fill, both original size and tile options of the image fill. So, for this tutorial, I'm going to head over to Keynote. What we look at here behaves the same way in Pages and iWeb as well. And I'm just going to use a white theme for our demonstration today. I'm going to remove the default text boxes and create a shape. I'm going to increase the stroke of this shape from 2 pixels to 12 pixels just so you can see the border a bit better. And the image fill option is already selected in the graphic inspector. And I'm going to choose original size to begin with as our image fill option. So I'll zoom out here so we can see. When you have original size selected in the image fill option, whatever image you drag into the well will populate the shape you've created. So I have a couple of images on my desktop. and I'm just going to drag one and drop it inside the well here. And now my shape has been filled with that image in its original size. So note when I resize the shape, the image inside of it stays at its original size. So no matter how large or small I make that shape, the image does not resize. Just the shape. I don't find this is a very useful option for manipulating an image. I prefer to use the mask option under format. You've got mask. So for instance, if I wanted to achieve this same effect, I would drag the image onto my canvas. And under the format menu, I could either just choose mask, and that would allow me to mask the image. Or I could choose mask with shape under the format menu. And that would allow me to do a rounded rectangle mask. I could then resize that mask and even put a stroke around it to get the same effect as we done with the image fill option. What I like about the masking option is I can go back and change the size of the image later and manipulate it a bit more. In the image fill option, I have no option to resize the image inside the shape. It always stays at its original size. So if I were to drag a very large image into a smaller shape, like this image I have of a hard drive here, drag it into that well. You see I can't see very much of the image. I have to enlarge the shape to the full size of the screen so I can see the entire image. So the original size option of the image fill really to me isn't all that useful. I prefer to use the mask option instead. So that brings us to our next option we're going to look at today, and that's Tile. So I'm going to change the option from Original Size to Tile. And what that does is takes the image, starts it at the upper left-hand corner, and tiles it continuously, no matter how large you make the shape. This image is a very large image, so I'm going to get a smaller image and drop it in there. A little well in the Graphic Inspector. Now when I enlarge my shape, you'll notice this image begins to tile itself and repeat over and over again. So that image just tiles. I don't have control over the size of the image when I'm using tile. The image remains the original size. So if I wanted to reduce the size of the image and have it tile more often, I don't have that option here in Keynote. I have a workaround for that, which I'll show you towards the end of the video. One thing I find useful about the Tile option in the Graphic Inspector 
is that it allows us to create continuous patterns when we choose the right image to tile. So for instance, I have an image here that I got from the web. I'm just going to drag that onto my canvas. And that image is of a continuous tile of vines. So if I take that image and I've got it here on my desktop and I drag it into the well that's currently populating this shape under the image fill graphic inspector. You see I get a continuous tiling of that image where the image is designed such that you can't see any seams in the image. It looks like just one continuous tile. This is really useful for creating ornate backgrounds by dragging the border of the shape all the way out to the edge. Now it appears as though I have one continuous background. I have another image here that I got from the web and it's of brick. When I drag that image to populate my shape into the graphic inspector, I get the same effect where that tile appears to be one continuous pattern in the background. I can resize the shape any size I want to, but I don't have the option of resizing the size of the image inside that shape to make the tile smaller. I want to show you that workaround because there is a way to do it. It just takes a little creativity. If you don't already know the Shift Command 4 keyboard shortcut, now's a good time to get your pen and write it down. Shift Command 4 is one of my favorite keyboard shortcuts and one that I use quite often. So what I'll do is take my original image and that original image represents the original size of the image that's tiled within this shape. My desire here is to have that detail much smaller. This is too large for what I want to do. So what I'm going to do is resize that image and make it much smaller. Notice the resize handles still appear around that image. I'm going to click off of that image to get rid of the resize handles. Now I'm going to use the Shift Command 4 keyboard shortcut. So first I'll press Shift. While I'm holding Shift I'll press Command which is the key right next to the space bar. And while Shift and Command are held down I'll press 4. My cursor turns into a crosshair. So what I'm going to do is carefully trace this image and notice I'm careful not to get any white around the border. That would spoil the continuous pattern effect. So I'm going to trace this image and when I get right down to the corner I'll release the mouse button and then I'll zoom out. So I have the original here which is 119 by 126 which represents this pattern in this shape. And then I have the smaller version, which I just created, which is 70 by 74. So now when I go back to that shape and I drag the smaller image into the well, and I'll have both here so you can see the difference. When I drag the smaller version into the well, I get a smaller, more detailed pattern. So that remarkably useful keyboard shortcut again is Shift Command 4. First hold down the Shift key. While you're holding Shift, press Command. And with those two keys held down, press and release 4. Your mouse cursor turns into a crosshair. And anything you drag that crosshair over becomes an image on your desktop. We hope you enjoyed Episode 11 of the EmpowerCast iWork series. As always, please subscribe rate this video and leave a comment. We look forward to hearing from you. Thanks for tuning in. Bye-bye.